Hi, I'm Dean Rodvera. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made my videos rank in the top three in YouTube searches. I'm a beginner YouTube content creator. I only started last August and I've made a little over a dozen videos. But I was able to make four of my videos rank in the top three. And I think one is in the top one in YouTube searches. I will show you in this video how I was able to do that in 10 easy steps. Let's begin. First, establish your niche. Know your target market. Make videos on topics that are close to your heart. Topics that you know very well topics that you've studied, topics that you have a lot of experience with, and topics that maybe you studied for. You have to establish your core audience. This core audience will be the base of your subscribers. These subscribers will increase your viewer retention and increase the engagement of your videos. That leads to ranking. When you establish your niche, you're giving your core audience what they want to hear rather than what you want them to hear. Step number two, knowing the YouTube algorithm. I know you've seen a lot of videos on how to manipulate and how to use the algorithm. And I've seen those videos. As I said before, you need viewer retention. You need viewers to stay on your videos, make them watch as long as possible. The longer they watch on your videos, you're making YouTube know that they can place ads or your, your videos are worthy of their ads. You want your videos to show up in the search results, the recommendation page, the trending page, and the suggested videos. The YouTube algorithm has a formula on how these videos are put on those pages. Make the algorithm work for you. In 2012, YouTube changed their policy that the algorithm is not based on just views. It's based on viewer retention and engagement. Step three, ranking your video. Some of my videos, as I will show you, are ranked in the top three and rank higher with views 10 times as much as my videos. In fact, my videos that have been ranked at top three have less than 2,000 views. I'm sure you've heard this before. YouTube is the number two search engine in the internet. People use YouTube on advice, how-to videos, top 10 lists, and certain topics they wanna see. As you can see, I have videos that have ranked. I have my, view, my video on how to survive law school. I have my video on memorization for law school. I have another video on recitation tips and another video on law school exam tips. All these videos have been ranked at least in top five. Step four, title. When you have your video, you have to have a title so that it, when it appears on the YouTube screen and YouTube pages in the recommendation page, that's the first bold mark right beside your video. You want your video title to be the search words for your viewers. Make sure the first three words of your video title are the search words that viewers look for. When you make your video, make sure you repeat the video title in the first 20 seconds of the video. The YouTube algorithm looks for a match between the video title and the words in your video. Yes, YouTube has an algorithm or an AI that transcribes your videos, transcribes the words that you say. Step five, the description. When you upload your videos on YouTube studio, after giving the video title, you have to write the description. Here, the first three or five words must match your video title. Again, the YouTube algorithm looks for a match between the video title, the description, and the first words of your video. Also, in the video description, you can put hashtags so that us also appear on the video searches. One helpful hint in the video description is to put chapter times. Here is a picture of my chapters in the video. When I, when I edit the video, I make sure where my topic ends and where my topic starts, so that then I put the timer it will allow viewers to skip to the most important parts of your video. In a way, it also adds uh, retention for the videos because maybe the tip they're looking for is at the end. Step six, tags. Tags are very important in your video description. When you upload your video in YouTube Studio, the certain part, as you can see in this photo, you have to put tags. These are, again, search parameters for YouTube when viewers want to see. Also, at the same time, these tags identify your video to the topics that are relevant to other videos. If you can, write these tags first in a Word document so that you can edit easily and adjust. And then just copy and paste when you upload your video and then add it in the description. Also, make sure that the first tags match the video title and 
the first words of your description. Step number seven, a thumbnail. The thumbnail is one of the most important facets of YouTube content. It's what they see first and they, when, they op when viewers open the YouTube. It is the first image they see beside your video title. The words in your thumbnail should, ma again, match your video title and video description. But not all the words. Maybe the first three or the first four. Make it the main part of your thumbnail. Also, add a photo of yourself. It could be a screenshot of the video or another made photo or another photo that you have on file. But don't make your photo the main part of the thumbnail. I would suggest maybe 30 to 40% of the thumbnail. So again, you should not overpower the thumbnail. If you have several videos or plan to make several videos, make sure you have a consistent theme in your thumbnails. It'll show the viewer that you're taking time to make the thumbnails. Also, it will have an identity or it will make the viewer recognize that these are your videos. Step number eight, a call to action and a call to comment. Invite your viewers to like and subscribe. The like and subscribe adds to the engagement of your videos and adds to the algorithm of YouTube. Make sure you put your invitation to subscribe, to like, and even comment in the first part of the video, maybe the first 30 seconds or the first minute. You want them to be engaged during the first part of the video. Secondly, in your video editing, you can add maybe a small icon to subscribe in the average viewer time of your videos. If you have several videos, look at the average retention time. If they're watching in the third minute or they're watching it on the fourth minute, and that's when you add another call to subscribe as maybe a small JPEG or a small um, animated GIF in your videos. Also, invite your viewers to comment. And if they do comment, respond quickly. The engagement leads or adds up to the algorithm again, which leads to your ranking of the videos. Step nine, make a playlist of your videos. If you have several videos, arrange them and create a playlist with similar topics. I'll tell you why that's important. Also, when viewers go to your channel page, they see the playlist of a group of videos that they might be interested in. For my channel page, I have three types of playlists. I have one for legal commentary, I have one for law school advice, and I have one for motovlog. Step number 10, an end screen. When you upload your videos in YouTube Studio, you're given an opportunity to add an end screen, like in this photo. This is important because it will lead the viewers at the end of your video as, as an invitation for them to watch your other videos. And YouTube will ask you what you wanna put in the end screen. That's where you put the playlist of your videos with similar topics. As with me, I put Lost my law school playlist as an end screen. Why is this important? Well, for one thing, it will, if the viewer just keeps watching your videos, it will actually automatically play because it's a playlist. So the viewer in this sense will probably be mesmerized by your group of videos of, on similar topic. Plus when they see the videos, they'll, it'll be on the right side of the screen and they can see what videos are next. These playlists keep the viewers engaged or at least stuck to the screen watching YouTube videos. And it'll add to the algorithm because YouTube will think and YouTube will know that your videos are constantly being viewed. These steps are not the best steps. In fact, I watch a lot of videos and I get a lot of advice from YouTube content creators. With those tips that I gathered from the YouTube creators, I was able to rank my videos. What's the importance of these steps? Well. As you know, to be monetized in YouTube, you need at least 4,000 hours of viewer time. And the more people that watch your videos, the more viewer hours you will get and the closer you will be to monetization. Here at the end of the video, I put a playlist of my law school videos. Maybe you can have a chance to see them. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you picked up something, the tips that I gave, and I wish you good luck in your YouTube career. Thank you.